Oh my God, last night was so crazy. It was? I don't even remember how I got home. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Are you kidding me? You were the center of attention. All these guys came up to you and you wouldn't even give them the time of day. I had so much fun. We did have fun, didn't we? I don't understand how I got so drunk. Well, we started off by playing a game of beer pong. Which we lost and had to shotgun some more beer. Uh, then you did a keg stand, a beer bong, another beer bong, and then you thought it would be a great idea to do 20 push-ups while doing another keg stand. You know, Lauren, I've often wondered what it is about beer that does that to people. I mean, everybody drinks it, but do we even know what it is that we're drinking? <laughs> Boy. I really wish two girls would get together and put on a show about beer. Mm -hmm. They could call it Two Girls, One Cup. <laughs> Zoki, don't be an idiot. No one drinks beer by the cup. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zoki. And I'm Lauren. And this is Two Girls, One Pint. Lauren, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Killian's Irish Red. What are you drinking, Zoki? I'm drinking Coors Banquet. Why is your beer so much darker than mine? Well, if you were paying attention on the tour today, you would know that the color of beer comes from the roasting of the malt. You weren't listening at all, were you? The first step to making beer is roasting the grain, called the malt. What kind of grain? Well, mostly barley, but some recipes call for corn, rice, wheat, even oat. After you roast the grain, you add water and call the mixture malt mash. Yeah, I know. Then you take the malt mash, heat it in a kettle called the mash tun, and that's where the starches turn into sugars. That's right! Then you separate the solids from the mixture and use the liquid part. You take the extracted liquid and add hops. Hops are to beer what salt and pepper is to food. They season the beer. Then you have a brewer's called wort. Wort? Ew! Then you take your wort, Ew! And add yeast. Ew! The yeast feeds off the sugars in the wort, resulting in alcohol and carbon dioxide. With a little time for pasteurization or filtering, you have your final product ready to be drunk. Drank. You're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the more we drank, the more questions we had. How many different kinds of hops are there? Oh, what's the difference between a lager and an ale? Why are some beers cloudy? Oh, what's a stout? What's a porter? Security. Security. The answer to these questions and more next time on Two Girls, One Pint.